All right, here we go. Uh, what do we need? We need some more torches. Okay, so last time we built this wonderful uh, home that is intended for our villager friends once they um, start breeding. We only have one so far. He is hiding in the weather worker that's hiding in here. Um, for those of you not familiar, I am... Uh, playing this world uh, with the hardcore challenge rules. Um, you can see in the description, I don't sleep in beds and I don't hurt passive mobs, so there are some things you get stuck with, like I can't get books any way except trading with villagers or finding the end fortress or, you know, um, I, there's no uh, villages I turn generate structures off in this map, um, large biomes are on, so uh, we are in the swamp, it's a big swamp. <laughs> Didn't mean to open the gate, close the gate so many times. Let's see how the crops are coming here. So we are waiting for zombie villagers. Uh, we'll go out hunting them tonight and see if we can bring them back. Over here I have a little shed to protect them so they don't burn up during the day and uh, I have my potions of weakness and golden apples ready to go as soon as we get one willing to come anywhere near us and all right yes we actually can make some potatoes all right we won't cook them yet um, I just want to go ahead and grab some more wheat this way my Last few loaves of bread, I think, before we go to potato eating. Uh, let's put some of this in the bag, too. Don't need that with me. Alright, let's go find some zombies. Come on, zombie villagers. Spawn. Slimes while we're waiting. Let's see. Some arrows from skellies. Let's maybe get a horde of zombies and one of them will be a villager. Of course, the other mob that I'm really looking for is Enderman. I would love to uh, kill some, just get a couple of Ender Pearls so I can use them to try to locate the End Fortress um, in this world. Uh, we are, let's see, we have this right near spawn, also right near zero zero. We spawned really close to zero zero. Mm, bacon, I wish. <laughs> it's probably the thing that I miss most, having really good food source. Um, I love bacon in real life, and uh, it has such great saturation in Minecraft as well. You get a stack of pork, and you are... Pretty well set. You can go days in real life without worrying about food. Yeah, lots of mobs, not the ones that I want. Zombie villagers and endermen, please. But uh, I will take these guys slime balls. about a hardcore ch uh, world also is, you know, you have to be a bit patient at the beginning. Um, you, you know, in a, in a normal world or, or so, you can rush uh, where, you're, where you can sleep in bed and skip days and things. You can develop worlds pretty quickly um, to a point where, you know, you have enchanted armor and And stacks of diamonds. Uh, it's just gonna take us a while in this world to get there. Um, yeah, that's not a um, place I can plant sugarcane because there's no water. Uh, but I do. 
do have these spots. Okay. Um, if you didn't see my first episode, the one thing about this uh, being in a swamp, the beginning was really easy because I had mushrooms to eat right from the beginning, uh, thanks to being in a swamp. I um, uh, also had stacks of sugarcane um, right at spawn. There was some of the most dense natural sugarcane uh, patches I've ever seen, and I, I got a stack and a half of sugarcane before I really did anything else. Oh yeah, protection one. Yeah, let's wear those. That looks cool. Let's see. All right. Look at us. Woohoo! Uh, we, you know, we lost only half a a uh, bar of, of armor there, and uh, it's enchanted, so it's probably about the same. So you can see uh, my fighting has weakened my armor quite a bit, but I do have a couple stacks of iron downstairs, so uh, I'm not too worried about that. Um, I really want a zombie villager. Come on. This is a good spot over here. I want to weaken that creeper a little bit before I go fight the skelly. Wow, to the face. I could not hit him. He was, I was like, I think I got too close and maybe it was inside him uh, instead of hitting him there. Whew. I thought I played that safe, but I was wrong. <laughs> And that is why I keep the camera on at night, because, you know, if that was the end of this world, one really stupid way to end, but I also don't want to deprive you of seeing how we mess up. Because I will mess up at some point, and this world will end. Um, I probably should start being a little more careful. I've put enough time and... Gosh, we're so close to getting that second villager. Um, it would be a shame to die now, but, you know. Here, oh gosh. I heard him. I never saw him. It's nice to be in the water when a creeper goes off. It absorbs a lot of the explosion. Do you see another one around here? Let's uh, repair that just so the water flow doesn't drag me under. I hate having little undercurrents like that. You, you never get into one of those spots when I'm weaker and a creeper gets me. It's like game over. Oh, there's a witch. Beautiful. Okay. Good thing, slowness didn't slow me down enough. <laughs> we got him. And the zombies are burning. Well, another night we didn't get done what we wanted to get done. No zombie villagers, no endermen. I might have to go on an adventure uh, into a different biome or something. Because this is getting old. Always seems to be like more Endermen in the desert. Is maybe it's just because you can see farther. There's no bad spawn points there or something, but. Um, yeah. Kind of want to put a roof on this house. It will look a lot better with the roof. and get some stuff going here. Yeah, I need a lot of stairs to make a roof. I'll start with the stack or so and go from there. Also need to make some windows, get some glass going. Zombies 
uh, baby zombies can get in there, so it's really not safe to put villagers in there until I get some... color blocks or something to break it up here. I'm actually thinking on the front if I do this opposite of the way it is now it might look better. Let me try this. actually makes this 
thing I did with the cobble fences on the side look a little better too. Yeah. Um, hmm. Almost. Almost. I think we need different blocks for under here. Definitely there. Now we'll leave it like that. Uh, but yeah, we need like clean stone or andesite maybe. Uh, polished andesite or something. But it's getting there. Alright. I don't know. Even simple houses always seem to need a lot of work. Make them look halfway decent. Um, trying to make everything cookie cutter. Um, Alright, well, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.